This question is another unit conversion calculation, except on top of that, we also get to do a simple speed calculation and ultimately to find out that we're actually zipping around really fast around the sun all the time. So let's start from the top. They want us to use this table to find the average distance between the earth and the sun. The table is in your textbook and the entry they want us to refer to is this guy here. Although this only gives the approximate value in terms of a factor of 10 estimation, that's good for getting a rough sense, but since we're doing calculation, we probably need a better number. A quick Google search will give us a much better number with four significant figures of 149.6 million kilometers. So let's use that for our Earth to Sun distance. So let's have that there, Earth, Sun distance is equal to 149.6 million, which is 10 to the 6 kilometers, which by the way is 149.6 times 10 to the 9 meters because a kilo is another factor of 3. As you move the couple decimal places a couple back, you find that it actually agrees with our table in the textbook. It's 10 to the 11th meters. So with this distance, they want us to find the average speed of the Earth as it orbits around the sun. You may recall from before or just from everyday knowledge that speed is given by how much distance you travel divided by how much time. So if you travel long distance in short time, you have a high speed. The easiest time interval to use here is of course the time it takes for the Earth to complete an entire orbit around the Sun. Say we have the Sun here and then we have a little pale blue dot which is our Earth. As it rolls around and it's as it goes around one time, we know it takes one year to do that. So that's delta time is equal to one year. And then delta distance, well, in the distance here, we have to make a slight assumption that we are assuming a circular orbit so that it makes our um, distance calculation much easier. So this distance here, which is what we found out we're calling the radius and the delta d here that distance is a full circle circumference is given by 2 pi r so now that we know distance and time we can figure out the speed and provide it in appropriate units so now we can replace the distance with 2 pi r and then we have the time period of one year 2 pi r R, of course, is as we said, it's 1.496 times 10 to the 11 meters divided by one year. You're pretty much done, right? Because you can work out the number here with your calculator and it comes out to 9.3996. Let's keep a little more digits, but remember we only have four sig figs times 10 to the 11 meters per year. However, that's not what they want. They want it in kilometers per second. So here comes the unit conversion bit again. So if we ultimately want kilometers per second, we have to again multiply different factors of the same thing, top and bottom. To get rid of the meter, we put meter underneath, kilometer on top, and then it's a thousand meters for every one kilometer. To change the year, uh, from year to second, it's a quite, quite a big leap. So we'll take it step by step. We want to get rid of the year, which is on the bottom. So we put the year on top. Then the next easiest step to go to would be probably days, because we know there are how many days there are in a year which is 365, but to be more precise, every four year we gain extra day. So it's roughly 
265.25, so 365 and a quarter of a day in any given year. And then to change days, uh, probably the next step down, we know there's 24 hours in a day. And then from before, you may recall that there were um, in one hour, there are 60 minutes. And then there are 60 seconds in a minute. So all these unit crosses out. Something on top crosses with something on the bottom. And we're left with kilometers per second. Big long chain of calculator work. You find that you end up with 29.7 five kilometers per second again keeping the four six fix so the actual answer would be 29.79 kilometers per second in meters per second we can be a little lazier and just know that a kilometer there's a thousand meters so we move the decimal place three paces back we end up with 29.790 meters per second. But because that's not really significant, let's just change it in scientific notation, giving us 2.979 times 10 to the 4 meters per second for our answer there. So there you have it. At any given second, you're f zipping around the sun at about 30,000 meters every second.